creepy. Guys, this is the thing that we pulled out of Kellogg's head. Cybernetic brain augmenter. We also got a limb actuator. That looks a lot like a synth arm. Is that what this is too? A pain inhibitor. Okay. Yeah, a, a synth arm. I just saw one. Yeah, right over here. That looks a lot like the thing that we just pulled out of him. And here he is, dead. Yeah, that'll teach anybody to kidnap my child, eh? What do you think, pal? Take that. Guys, what is going on? Unite the Clans here. Back in your life with some Fallout 4. I might not have saved, so let's check this thing out. It seems to be directing me to it. I can't remember what I showed at the end of the last episode. Security door control. These are already open. Oh, maybe not. Okay, maybe I didn't save. And view access logs. So what is in here? is information that Sean has successfully been delivered back to the Institute. Payment received. New orders to track down Renegade. Gather reinforcements. We have cleared out and secured Fort Hagen. We move out soon. No need, pal. I already came in and whooped ass. Cleaned house. Uh, guys, I love me some Fallout 4, but I hadn't got to play in days. The most important thing we can do now is find our power armor and find Nick. Because Nick is still in here somewhere. I, I think I ended up cutting it out of the video. I had a lot of problems with the video files last time, guys, hence why a lot of the latest episodes don't have face cam. Turns out I liked it, so I've opted not to do it in this recording session either. Have I already searched all this crap? I'm pretty sure I have. So I just need to track down Nick and then track down the suit of power armor I left in the parking garage. So why don't I do that? And um, I'll come back with you guys when I found those two very valuable things. Well, I hope I hope I don't lose Nick. I seriously what? Nick, where are you? Oh! Hello, Nick found me. Guys, he just zapped in here. Well, I still have to go find the old power armor, but I think I can do that. I think I left that outside. Nick, what is going on, pal? I want to talk to you about what just happened. Come out here to the roof. Terminal, use it. Open the door. Oh, if only we'd come in this way. I tell you guys, look what you could do. Turret control. I think they're all dead. Error all clear. And we'll get these doors open. And Nick, join me on the roof. We came through here. I tried to go in this way and I couldn't. Nick, I gotta talk to you, pal. Let's do it somewhere somewhere with a nice, some nice light. Oh! My god. What is that? Guys. Is this? Who is this? Is this Enclave? We are the Brotherhood of oh, Steel. I think that's good. I think the East Coast Brotherhood is not just out for technology. If they're anything like the Washington D.C. ones, they're out to make the wasteland a better place. Nick, I gotta talk to you, pal. Started Reveille. Inf instigate that Zeppelin, that dirigible. How sick is this thing? And they're just dropping. I think. They know what I'm here for? Nick, where'd you go, pal? Where are you going? Okay, fine. I'll come to you then, fool. You're just slowly, casually sauntering off like there's no giant dirigible in the sky. Come talk to me. Talk to me. Nick. Hey. Where's your son? What happened? Whoa. That's a weird way to say hello. Where's your son? What happened? Talk to where's me. Where's your son? What happened? Hello. Where's your son? Um. What happened? Something might be up with my game, guys. That's a really weird way to say hello, and Nick won't talk to me. And I think my only objective is to talk to Nick. Where's your son? What happened? I I would love to tell you. Why did it go? Hey. Guys, I know Steam was hacked recently. Is it possible someone installed a mod on my computer? If so, this will make a hilarious video. Okay, Nick is wandering off like some fool. Is that even my objective right now? What's my objective? Reunions. Discuss your findings with Nick. What the hell do you think I'm trying to do? Reveille. Investigate the Brotherhood airship. I Something might have gone wrong, guys, that's made Nick wander off. At least he'll be marked on my map as long as he's my objective. Where did their airship go? 
bourbon is worn off. Yeah, I'm sucking back the bourbon, guys. Oh, I should have given Nick some of my crap. I couldn't. Screw it. More booze. That's the answer. Let's go get our power armor. See what's up with Nick. Because that's that's freaky, guys. My game is, is making noises it's not supposed to make. I'm talking like the chef from South Park. And I left my power armor. Uh, where did I leave my power armor? You on my map? I'll recognize it when I see it. Yes, it's, it's near here. Right through here. Right there you are. All right, get in this suit. And let's go see if we can talk to Nick. I don't know why I couldn't, and I don't know why my character is saying hello in a very weird way. Steam was hacked badly a bit over Christmas, and I haven't played since before. Get up this damn hill. Where are you at, Nick? I'm coming for you, fool. He's out this way. Nick? Maybe he just has to get to a place. Another red rocket. Cool. I got such a low core, I really can't afford to be messing around. Where is that directing me? Hey. Hey. Where's your son? What happened? Uh-oh. Hmm. Where is he headed? Diamond City? Yeah, he is, I think. Let's fast travel. Oh, that's sick. Wasteland survival guide. Okay, Nick, you here? Nick? No, he hasn't made it yet. Where is he? Nick. Oh, where's he headed? Nick? Where's he going? Maybe I... Maybe somehow I sent him back to, like, Sanctuary or something? We'll track down with Nick when he gets... When he gets settled in. I think I should get this power armor somewhere. I got four cores. When did I get four cores? I must have found those when... When... Hmm. Okay, well, maybe we go... Maybe if we got the battery power, we go try and find Nick. Go try and talk to him. Hmm. All right, Geek's back in Diamond City. I think I may have figured out, well, at least what was going on with the game, why we couldn't talk to Nick. I'm not sure where, where that weird voice came from or any of the other recent glitches I may have experienced. God, even the sky ain't safe. Did what? You see that blimp thing? Yeah, it was crazy. The of Steel? Who are they? It was some crazy stuff, what we saw. But we're here. We're here back at the Valentine Detective Agency. We get a debrief. Talk this thing through with Nick. Try and make up a plan. How Sean is in the Institute. How do we get there? How do we get him back? See what old Nicky V has to say about it. Nick. Where do you want me to start? Where? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have shot? I found it on his computer. He didn't tell me. Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things... Damn right it does. Considerably more ...be a hard place to get into. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Kick down the Security damn door. Strip those memories out. I need to find a way. Yes, that is I've the answer. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Hmm. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out like there. Like Nick. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. How to get in there. Where the Institute actually is. Sorry, you don't know where it is? How to get in. Exactly. None of you fools know how to know where it is. The person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Yeah. Uh, hmm. He definitely would know. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. If yeah. he were alive, he would know. Figures the institute's only man on the outside wouldn't be the type to be taken alive. I nuked him. So, a murderer and a killer.
kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the. It's not one of your stories, Pipes. What so do we what do that? now? Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brain. You know, we may not need the man at all. What kind of crazy, crazy are you? Here, Nick. Got okay. a vault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind. That is crazy. That, that is happened. crazy. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari. Dr. Amari. Behind the memories. Um, that's pretty crazy, There's man. There's no way that could ever work. <clears throat> Stay with me on this. We get a piece of Kellogg's gray matter and take it to Amari. Then we see if she's got the goods to pull this off. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got, we no, got no leads. leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the Whew. secrets we need to know. Have I got an ace up my sleeve? We don't need to go back to Fort Hagen and get a shovel and scoop that guy's irradiated brains off the floor. Look Actually, what I found. I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, yeah, he huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth. So, who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way if I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Oh, we got this choice again? I miss Pipes. I miss hanging out with her. But guys, we're getting into crazy computer stuff since I think Nick is the man. Nick, let's do me, this. Nick. Let's get going. Don't worry. We're going to get your boy back. Damn right we are. Just a few more steps. Oh, That's right. Well, you two are out. I'm going to do some more research. I'll be at the public if you need me. Cool. Thanks, Come Pipes. Nicky. I'm just asking for your opinion. It'd be a great quote. He's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a man's private affairs? Thanks, well, Nick. Well, speak of the devil. You're back. And not with your son. Huh. What happened? That's a weird glitch. Uh, um, guys, I have run into so many glitches today that that weird thing that just happened where I just redid that whole conversation and, and went Let through and made all the exact same choices, I think load. that may have no, solved the problem. I won't even explain, but I've tried this a couple times. Piper, I am talking. Will you shut the hell up, woman? Very successful. Yes, thank you. Now go. I want to talk to Ellie, this cutie. Ellie? Hmm. I... Nick's not the type to turn someone away, but he's only one person. So sometimes things just pile up. Staring into a wall. You creep. That's better. All right. Ellie, you reading, you reading Public Occurrences? That's Bold Pipe's newspaper, guys. I have done this a dozen times, and every time I step out this door, I am no longer able to pull out a gun. Let's see what happens. Fingers crossed, UTC has access to his weaponry. Even I've had to people do crazy things go through this scary. conversation a couple times now. You keep that synth oh, it works! Brain. Okay. You understand Thank God. Me? Okay, so we've got Nick. We got access to our guns. Before we set out for Dr. Amari, guys, I want to check out the paper. I want to see what, what Ellie was reading about. High quality protection for sale. I want to see if the pipe dogs finished her story about old UTC. Most folks are just looking for a hand. Talk to you? Hey, Nat. Hey, mister. That interview you did with Piper is really selling. Here's your free copy. Sick. Part one, part two. Part three. Okay, guys, now I have read these stories before, and I was a, a little hesitant about it last time, but uh, at this point, there's fewer of you guys watching the series, and you're probably all invested more in the story than I am in trying to attract new people to the series. So I think we'll take a second and we'll read what Piper's written about us. We know what she said about Mayor McDonough. It wasn't good, right? She she tore him a new one and without a whole lot of evidence, so I really don't know what we're about to be reading here, but would it be here? Vault. Yes, View from the Vault, Part 1. Alright guys, I hope you're ready for this. 
by Piper Wright. Whenever I take a walk through Diamond City, there are so many things people tell me to be grateful for. Purified water, working lights, electricity, security. True. What we have would have been unthinkable even a few decades ago, but it's easy to forget that even after the progress we've made, we are still living in the shadow of the world that was. A world before the threat of radiation, before the super mutant and the feral ghoul and the synth. So as fortune often has it, I crossed paths with UTC, Vault Dweller, a person who was experiencing the Commonwealth for the very first time. What would his fresh set of eyes say about how far we've come? Is Diamond City in fact the great green jewel we have always claimed it to be? Before we begin to answer that question, we have to know who UTC is, where he comes from. To my surprise, he did not have much to say about his life in the vault at all because he spent all that time staring at a piece of frozen glass every day for over two centuries. That's right, UTC isn't just a vault dweller, he's an original vault dweller. He spent his entire time on the inside cryogenically suspended. So what does UTC have to say about seeing Diamond City for the first time? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. Hope. When was the last time someone in our city talked about hope who wasn't some politician, fishing for points in the next election, making empty promises at the wall? But our outsider hasn't let the cynicism of our strange world get the better of him. This is all the more remarkable because of the reason he came to the Commonwealth. You see, UTC has a son, Sean. And even though they were in the relative safety of a vault, someone broke in and took Sean from his parent. And that parent is now risking everything, wandering through this strange and unfriendly world of ours in order to save Sean from his kidnappers. We all know the rumors and whispers that surround every missing person in Diamond City. The guilty looks we pass to mourning family members as we thank the wall that this time it wasn't us. You can end up dead in the Commonwealth for a million reasons. Why spend our time worrying about kidnappings? Why? Indeed. It's easy for us to be cynical about the missing. We have spent so long knowing the Institute is out there, but knowing so little about them. They are not the only ones responsible for kidnappings. But the fact that they sometimes are, and the fact that we have been so powerless to stop them when they do, causes us to treat all victims of kidnappings as if they are a lost cause. But the people left behind, those loved ones, friends, and neighbors, who may never see the faces of those taken from them again, they do not have the luxury of being able to just look away. They have to carry that loss with them, even if everyone else tells them to move on and forget. I asked UTC to make a statement to Diamond City to give us an outsider's perspective on what it means to lose a loved one and how he feels. Maybe, in some way, it's how we all should feel. Maybe we've forgotten what the right human response to these tragedies are. No matter how much you want to give up, don't, he said. You have to hope that you'll see them again, or at least that you'll know the truth. End. Guys, I love taking a moment to read that kind of thing, and Piper did a much better job this time around. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that little story. Uh, and I hope you don't mind me taking a second to read things like that. If you do, hit me up in the comments and I can avoid it in future episodes. But for now, guys, we have got a goal. We have got a target. We have to get to Dr. Amari in Good Neighbor, which, for those of you that have been watching this series since the beginning, is the part of town where we found Skinny Malone in Park Street That's Station it. at oh, Vault 114. Can I still pull out a gun? I can. Okay, the game isn't permanently glitched. Let's, um... Let's save. All right, cool. Nikki and I are going to hit the town. You ready to bust some heads, buddy? Pipes, are you coming too? I don't know where she's going. Let's see how close we can get to Good Neighbor. Okay. Here it is. I have not been there. So, oh, 
right back, right back to old Park Street Station. All right, guys, Nikki V, this is a bit of a homecoming. This is Park Street Station where we found the poor bastard captive with Skinny Malone and his gang. And all I remember about this area is that it was a rough as hell neighborhood. Lots of creeps, lots of weirdos. Oh, speaking of. I think I might see something right about there. Yes, I do. Okay, ready? Okay, more ghouls. Okay, just wait. A lot wait. of my cases dead end in Boston Common. I'd prefer not to join them. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid head-on combat. Don't worry about that, Nick. Oh, that guy might have seen me. That guy might have seen me. Okay, this is a shotgun. Probably not the best bet. Okay, you're dead. We're in full-on combat. Who's left? How many of these fools were there? Nobody touches my buddy, Nick. Crush him. Okay. That's not bad. If that's all we gotta deal with is four, four ghouls, that's, that ain't nothing. Cue ball. Useless. Guess I could check out what they left in this damn cemetery. Old Granary Burial Ground. Toy Rocket Ship. Okay. That had a little magnifying glass on it. Franklin. As in Benjamin? Fuse. This is a dead gunner. Dead gunner? What the hell's a gunner? Gunner guard outfit. 10 mil pistol. Okay. Fuse. I should take a fuse. Dead gunner. I found a gunner's green bandana once. What? Are you a sewer opening? Two and a. What does this mean? Nick? You recognize this? Freedom Trail. The Freedom Trail. Okay, which way are we headed? Because... This is a war zone. Straight ahead, I see gore bags. I see bags of gore. Uh, bags of gore are a bad sign. Yeah, because of super mutants. Uh, that's the main main reason. Okay. Um, you guys want to see the first super mutant kill on the channel? Or the first combat? I killed one once. Oh yeah, you ain't see this, did ya? Yeah, we nailed him, Nick. We nailed him. We crushed him. We blew his brain. Oh, it's not over. It ain't over. Somebody up high? Okay, I don't see anything. I don't see anything. Bo Little bleeder? Oh, is that one? That's a corpse. A corpse under a dripping gore bag. It's disgusting. There's two more of them. Where are you at, you fools? Can I honestly... If I could get away with not having to deal with these guys right now, I would love that. Yeah, right here. Right in front of your face, idiot. What? These are oh God! Oh, there's one right here. Oh, you hear that? If these are the super mutants, I feel bad for the mediocre ones. Next, cracking jokes as we do battle. All right, you got me in a positive spirits. Let's gun these fools down. Let's take care of some serious business. You're about to get blasted in the dang skull. You're, come on. Yes, one more. Just blow his skull right off his head. That'll do it. Geeks, what is going on? Unite the Clans here, back in your life with some Don't Starve. This is a brand new series on the channel. I'm excited. And if you guys don't know, this isn't regular old Don't Starve. This is the new DLC Shipwrecked. 